Zia, how much of what we are seeing in the economy right now could be at the door of the Supreme Court in the sense we've had judgments pertaining to mining, we've had judgments pertaining to the coal issue, we've had judgments pertaining to telecom, and now when numbers are being added up, there seems to be a direct correlation to the fact that this has been responsible, say, for the CAD to be bloated because we are importing iron ore, etc. My first question to you, is there a need, therefore, for the government to go to the judiciary and say, look, you pass these judgments, but these are having a very serious impact on the economy and you may want to relook at them. Because here's a government which is, deems it fit to go and discuss criminalization of politics and try to overturn that order of the Supreme Court. It's very concerned about the RTI order of the Supreme Court, but it really hasn't gone to the Supreme Court to say that, look, these three judgments have really severely impacted the economy. Could you relook at them? I think there was, as I think, a move to actually look at a review of one of the judgments and basically talk to the Supreme Court about the economic effect that it could have. Look, you know, the mindset and the agendas are slightly different. And it's not that the two can't talk. And I think what you're saying is very sensible. And I'm sure the government has thought of it too. Supreme Court is looking at a piece of legislation, how it's been violated, how the philosophy has been abused, if at all. And stepping in because I think a lot of the Supreme Court feels today that there is a vacuum uh, which they are governing in that sense. There is uh, some sort of, not in a negative way, but a sense of evangelism that if nobody can do it, we will have to do it. Because in their minds, maybe the government hasn't been able to act. The government, on the other hand's mission is to get industry to work. Uh, I think the government realizes the mess that the coal sector is in and the mining sector is in. But at the end of the day, the Supreme Court is seized of an issue because there is a problem in the law. It's not being followed. So either you come up with a solution that harmonizes, in the case of mining, community development, sustainable land and operations, and the need of the miners to extract. Now, or you're just going to have this headbutting uh, which is not going to lead to a positive result. So to my mind, um, I think the government will be approaching the Supreme Court uh, more often in serious cases. And I don't think the Supreme Court is going to be blind to the, real, uh, the reality and the issues on the ground. There are amicus that the Supreme Court appoints. I know Harish Salve has operated as amicus for many of the environmental matters. And I think that's because they want the objective view from amicus as to, you know, what should be the right approach, not this one or that one. So, But, but do you believe that in, in many of these judgments, while the intent was to tackle what was a fallacy in the conduct of business by a few entities, but a more blanket kind of a decision probably hurt more than solve the problem? It's possible. And I think that, you know, it's, it's something that doesn't only happen in... in mineral resources. It, sure. it happens in other areas as well. The Supreme Court sort of gives its statement of intent, if you like, and its philosophy. And in that, you can get a lot of stuff swept in that perhaps you didn't originally intend. So if you see that, you know, government, is it now really the ultimate owner of all natural resources? Probably the government will say, for sure we are. Uh, was that the original intent when they started out with uh, giving away mines and allocations, probably not. Uh, in terms of the illegal mining, many feel that the blanket ban has uh, you know, done more harm than good in certain areas. Why could not uh, there be a staggered or more granular approach to see actually who had breached, who was in compliance? Uh, how does it help for all our iron manuf uh, manufacturers, steel manufacturers to come to a grinding halt? So, yes, there is uh, some bit of that. But on the other hand, you know, it's also difficult for the Supreme Court to crystal gaze into every subsect of facts. And um, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. 